<laughs> she was like, tell her she sucks as a bartender. I was like, it's not like that serious. Wow. <laughs> What's going on, party people? It is Friday. Time to start the vlog. Hope you guys are having a great week. It is Christmas weekend here at Cowboy HQ. And I am late getting the vlog started because it was hot chaos today. <laughs> so I don't know about where you guys are at, but the weather here today has been chaos. It started out like 45 degrees this morning. The wind has been like 50 miles per hour. And we've gone from rain to snow, back to rain, to like beautiful sunshine all in the span of like six hours. We've had power outages, we've had school closings, we've had crazy stuff going on here in PA. And that's just the start of the weekend. So we have no idea what's gonna happen and what we're gonna do. Megan had to work this morning. I was here hanging out with Prez because Prez didn't go to school. And so we've been doing a lot. <laughs> Actually, we have been doing so much because the power went out for a while and we didn't have any power. So we couldn't cook. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have anything. I think I'm going to make my way to the gym at this point because Meg's not sure whether or not we can go later on. I thought we were going to go together, but apparently we're not. She's not sure what's going to happen later on. Either way, uh, time to get the day started and get things rolling, even though it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Probably a good idea. Oh, my God. Look at this. Can you guys see this? Look at my look at my microphone. The wind is so strong outside, it's literally shaking my microphone inside. Like I'm standing perfectly still and my microphone stand is like shaking around. Yo, it is chaos out there. Anyway, thank you guys for joining this episode. I appreciate you guys as always. Please have it done so. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like. Drop a comment. We appreciate that. And we love to hear from you guys. So let's go and get this thing started. Yo. For real, y'all. This, <laughs> this wind out here is no joke. Currently, my car is at 18 degrees outside. I stepped out my back door. And I felt like I was at like one of those indoor skydiving type deals. Like there's so much wind in your face. It is frigid. The doors on my truck were frozen. Like I had to like pull on them to like yank them free. And then like literally the 20 steps from my door to my truck, I could feel the frostbite setting in on my fingers. Thank God I have a hated steering wheel. Like honestly, <laughs> this is not even funny. Wow. All right, let's go quick, head to the gym, get this banged out, come on back. And uh, I think Megan and I are going to dinner tonight. She's got a gift card. Weather strip is coming off. So we're going to go ahead and do good tonight and see what other shenanigans we get into. What is that dog doing outside? Take your puppy back inside. It's cold. Why do people leave their dogs out when it's freezing? What the heck? I can't, I don't understand people. All right, kids, back up in the whip. Gym is done. I know I get a lot of comments. Well, not a lot of comments. I will say I'm, I got, I did get a few comments this week. And I got comments about it not giving you guys enough of the actual action. Like when I go places and do things like people want to see more B-roll and stuff. The question, the problem is most of the time I'm by myself. So it's kind of hard for me to get good angles and good footage by myself without either one giving you guys the same stuff over and over again, which I'm sure it's not entertaining to watch, or B, it just generally doesn't look good. So I've been doing research, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the best ways to be able to shoot stuff by myself, because a lot of times I'm by myself. So I can get things done, and I want to make better videos for you guys, so you guys keep watching and keep telling people, and the channel grows. So that's a lot of reason why you guys don't always see a lot of the B-roll footage like when I go to the gym or when I go other places and things like that. It's just because like, I can't think of a good way to shoot it and be part of it at the same time. So hopefully at some point, like when I become big enough, I can afford to get someone to come with me and help me shoot things or, you know, get some kind of equipment in order to do it. But I'm still working on it. Like the sales just starting. So I'm still working on trying to get things rolling. So. There you go. That's kind of the explanation, but not an excuse. Just let you know what the deal is. So you kind of know like why sometimes you don't get as much of the action that you should be. So let's go home because 
I'm tired. And I think I hurt my knee. <laughs> so today was a leg day and I decided to do uh, like regular barbell squats, which I normally don't do just because like I, it just, I don't know if I don't have the right form or whatnot, but it just doesn't feel right to me. I used to do them a lot when I was a kid or when I was younger. I was when I was a kid when I was younger because I mean, I was still doing it in my twenties, but it just doesn't feel right to me, and I feel why. Like, every time I do it, like, something always gets torqued funny. And, like, today, my knee's like, what was the victim? So, I'm going to get home and uh, maybe ice this bad boy down and try to get ready for tonight. Another big night. Today. It's Friday. Let's get it going. All right, kids, we made it out and about, uh, I guess, doing pre-Christmas Eve dinner type deal. We're back in one of our favorite spots here at Do Goods doing dinner and whatnot. I went with the classic vodka martini to start for dinner. And then I'm doing two specials because that's always what I get. I just can get whatever's on special and pretty easy. Megan got fireside martinis. It's like a like a coffee liqueur martini. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? It's delicious. Ooh. They advertised the mint chocolate one online that looks really good. I was a little sad they don't find it, but this is good. All right, kids, so dinner's done. Megan orders cheesecake. I thought we were getting cookies or apple crisp or something. You talked about a, a cookie thing that you talked about apple crisp and you said- Chocolate chip and you don't eat chocolate. Well, I don't know. You, you said something with ice cream and then you said apple crisp and then you ordered cheesecake. I said you could take the cheesecake to go and just eat it later. Which it doesn't matter. The cheesecake here is delicious. Like, I mean- That's what I mean. If it's the same crust it always is. Yeah. The cheesecake here is delicious, so it, I mean, it doesn't... Home, I think. You can always just drizzle that. No, I, I threw that out a month ago. Because it's been there for like no, a it's year. regular caramel. All right, maybe. I don't know. Either way. Doing that, ordering another martini or another vodka. I don't know why. <laughs> like, <laughs> we keep coming back here, but the waitresses love, love to shit. Love to shit. I can only put so much in the frame at one time. <laughs> and you have to, because of the music, you have to put it closer so people can hear so anyway now i lost my train of thought never mind all right so as i was saying i forgot now now i realize what the is going on we keep coming back here but for some reason all the waitresses in here love to like dump on me when i come here especially about whatever the heck i order and i don't know why they keep crapping on my vodka martini i think it's a very classy very sophisticated drink nothing wrong with it but this is like the second the waitress done so it wasn't even another owls, wasn't it? That's hard. And it, wow, I wouldn't say that far. I'm like, damn. <laughs> it's just an olive. Like, she didn't put no arsenic in there. Like, it could have been worse. <laughs> oh, there, there was definitely vermouth. I saw a taste of vermouth. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> she was like, tell her she sucks as a bartender. I was like, it's not like that serious. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I think we're going over to the Goodwill next. So let's go bounce over there. All right, so let's go, boys. It is now <laughs> probably 10 o'clock. Yep, around about. That's the max. Yep, we're in full Parker mode because <laughs> it's like 10 degrees outside here in Pennsylvania. Oh my God, my, my door is creaking. <laughs> yeah, we're in full parking mode out here, kids, because it's cold as crap, and uh, <laughs> we're trying to hold it all together. Like, literally, every light on my dashboard in my car is going off because it's so goddamn cold out here. I can't tell you the last time it's been this cold. <laughs> And Meg's taking selfies. <laughs> Meg is like, I can't tell you the last time it's been this cold. Like, yeah. my dashboard literally reads three degrees. I'm ready to complain that it's 100 degrees. So if you guys wonder why, oh, there's my light. Hold on. I can get my light back on so get some light in here. If you guys wonder why you guys didn't get a lot of footage tonight, it's because it's been freezing outside. And 
Oh, oh, look, all the, the, t the check engine light, the check tire lights have gone off of my car. That's fantastic. And it's just been so cold that we just want to get to the next place ASAP oh. because it's cold as crap. So I know we've, we've got a, a few complaints about we don't have enough B-roll footage between one place and another. It's because we, we move. We move a lot and we move fast. And we're moving extra fast today because it's cold as crap out there. So let's go home because it's cold. Thanks. Yeah. It's so cold. <laughs> Makes the Eskimo right now. This she, is what it feels like to live in Antarctica. She's inside in my car in my heated seat and still. It's like, not on yet. I got. I'm sorry. I'm putting it on right no, now. I'm really gonna feel like I have to pee. Yeah, let's keep it on the heated seat now. All right, we gotta go. Bye. Good morning, friends. It is Christmas Eve. Woo! And we are up and about. The Prez has gone to her dad's house. So she goes to visit her dad. She'll be back later on this evening. And then we are headed out to Megan's mom's father's side of the family. They do family Christmas before Christmas. Her dad's side does it after Christmas. So we have to go to both Christmases and hang out and eat food and do Christmas type stuff, which I don't want to do, but it's a thing. So that's what we're doing, kids. Right now, Megan's in the kitchen. She's making breakfast. Yay. <laughs> And I'm going with emails and stuff, getting ready. Accomplish something today. I need to go upstairs and uh, tune up some equipment. So I might get on that today if we have time. But happy holidays to you guys. All right, kids, here's what it is. Uh, it is now Christmas Eve afternoon. And Meg's ran out to the store to grab some something. I don't know what she's grabbed, whatever she needs to grab. But look at this mess. This is what we're dealing with today. Yeah, that thing. Megan thought it'd be cute to go ahead and get Presley a drum set. As if we didn't have enough noise in this house. Now I gotta deal with that on Christmas morning. So, some, some tomorrow, uh, looks like my house is gonna turn into a rock club. Oh, you know, I'm excited about that. Just simply ecstatic. I can't even hold my excitement about how excited. Come on, kids. Really? Do we really have to? Really? Like, <laughs> I can't. Well, kids, <laughs> at least we're winning somewhat. Megan got us some spicy salmon poke bowls for lunch. Good times. Very excited about that. Dig in. All right, kids, so it is now 4.30 or so in the afternoon. Meg's supposed to go get Prez. And I have to decide what to wear to family Christmas dinner tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because, one, it's like a frozen tundra out there. And I don't want to be underdressed and freeze my gonads off. And, two, also, we're going to be inside in Aunt Kim's house in probably very close quarters. So I'm sure if I wear something too heavy, it's going to get real hot real quick. So definitely not going the sweater route like I did last night uh, because I'm sure I'm going to be sweating the balls off real quick. That's not going to work out. So... Trying to decide what I could wear and what I should pick out. I'm thinking maybe like long sleeve tee. I know like standard tradition in Pennsylvania is to wear a flannel. <laughs> That's what everybody does. Everybody wears a flannel to all the holiday events. And I'm just like, I have like five of them now because everyone's giving me one. And I'm just like, no. Nah. <laughs> like, I'm just not, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a crowd person. I like to do something different. So. Unless specifically requested, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something else. So I'm thinking maybe a long sleeve t shirt, something like that. Uh not quite sure. Any ideas, any thoughts? I don't know. Drop in the comments. Tell me what I probably should have wore. We'll figure it out. We work as it is. Family dinner time. We are doing it, hanging out. And uh let me show you around because it's a good time. It is now Christmas morning, and like many households in America, we were woken by a child. Yes, that alarm clock, not a nuclear disaster, not a car crash, but a child at a very early hour. So now, 
let's go do Christmas type things. Hey, you pulled out, it's on your lap. Okay, it looks like all the holiday hubbub is over. Chaos everywhere. I, I don't even want to try to show you my living room right now. Oh, that's the better of the aftermath. <laughs> so, presents are distributed. Everyone seems happy. Bryce's upstairs chilling. Megan's upstairs taking a nap. And uh, we're going to head to Mom Paul's later. Had a good little uh, brunch, I guess you could call it brunch. A little salmon on bagels, pop some champagne, finishing that off right now. Always a good time. So far, it's been a great Christmas, kids. So, kind of excited about uh, life. Hope everything was good for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was definitely interested how it was going to turn out this year. Definitely a little bit different next, than most years, especially with not having the day job and stuff anymore. But it still turned out great. Everyone still had a good time. Uh, sadly enough, we had a casualty last night. And one of Megan's cousins gave me a really awesome bottle of apple pie homemade moonshine. Dropped in the street. <laughs> Got all the way home. It was a paper bag, bag ripped. Boom, in the street. So not only that, I lost that and some some other treats and stuff in the street too. It was 10 o'clock at night and dark. I wasn't out there trying to pick things up and try to figure it out. Now nah, I just left it, it's gone. So sad about that. But other than that, so far it's been so good. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what the rest of today's gonna bring. I feel like today should just be a chill day. Like you should just chillax, not try to do too much. The entrepreneur in me wants to go out and get upstairs and hustle and do some work and try to get some things out, create some content. Maybe I'll uh, just do some TikToks or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm always working. Like, I can't just sit still. I always got to do some work. I don't know. We'll see. Today, I'm going to try to take it easy. Hopefully, you are too. All right, guys. It is, it is about uh, quarter till six. I'm here. Meg's the prez. They rolled out to Meg's parents' house to go do a little Christmas dinner. I'm here chilling by myself, just getting, uh, getting it done. We... Um, I don't know the best way to put it. Had a conflict of interest. So I was like, you go your way, I'll go this way. And you know, that's that. So that's what's going on right now. So I'll still just leave it at that. Uh, do the same, I'm here, you know, whipping up some dinner, trying to find something to eat. Just kind of hanging out. Christmas night, man. Not too much going on. It's always kind of interesting. I feel like Christmas night, like, <laughs> I feel like after like the first like two hours of Christmas, the rest of it's just like, pfft, like nothing. Like, there's nothing going on after that. Like, you're just kind of hanging out, waiting for New Year's to come around. Like, the next, like, seven days is kind of worthless. But, maybe this is my personal opinion. Like, I'm, I'm also not a big holiday person, so I don't, that doesn't bother me either way. I'm just kind of like, all right, it's here. Christmas time. Yay. Let's go on to the next thing. But, what else, kids? So, that's what we're up to. Hope you grab some food, getting things ready. And we'll uh, probably close this bad boy out, because it's been a pretty irritating weekend. Pretty irritating weekend. Huh? And I've done a lot, so I'm kind of tired. All right, let's go. All right, kids, as you can see, it is now Monday morning again. Obviously, Christmas did not end as well as I thought it was going to, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just happy to be here and with the people I love and healthy. And you can't really ask for much more than that. Either way, I hope you guys had a great holiday no matter where you were, no matter what you were celebrating, whether you celebrated Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or Christmas or whatever, I'm glad you guys came to stop by the video. If you made it this far, please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. 
like, give it a thumbs up. We appreciate all that. The comments, love the comments. We appreciate all the feedback. It's definitely making the channel better, and I'm hoping to grow and give you guys better videos sooner and sooner as we try to get through this. Next week, we're headed down to Maryland. Why? Because New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve, we're going down to Malloy's Irish Pub down in Bowie. So if you guys in the area, come out and join us. Come party with us. Uh, maybe I'll put you on the vlog. Maybe I'll put you on the vlog. So you never know. Come party with us if you guys can. Love to hear from you. Love to see you guys. You guys have a great, safe week. And I will see you real, real soon. As always, you can hit me up at djurbancowboy.com. If you got events coming up, you got a bar, woman come by and check out. You got a club, woman come by and do a guest spot at. I'd be glad to come help you guys out no matter what I can do for you. It's all about spreading the love, kids. So I will see you guys soon. You guys be good out there. Be good to each other. Okay? Until next time, two up, two down, and I'm out.